I'll teach you everything you need to know about Booleans in five minutes. Booleans are a simple data type. It's either true or false. It's, it's pretty simple. I don't know what else you want me to say. That's pretty much it. So to write this, we either write true or we write false in all lowercase. An example of a property that uses this is the can't collide property. It's either true or it's false. It's either gonna collide into something or it's gonna go right through it. Those are the only two options. Same with numbers. When we print a Boolean, it gets turned into a string behind the scenes. I'll just show you that if you print false, it goes through fine as false without any problems, even though we didn't make it into a string. And something else I want to talk about that's not true. I know, I know I said Booleans are only true or false. This isn't really, this is like its own separate thing, kind of. It's called a nil. Now, the thing about nil, it's used to symbolize nothing. Not zero, not false, just nothing. For example, if I want to print out faith with no quotes, not a string, just the words, we get nil because the script doesn't know what this is. It doesn't know if you want to print out faith, if faith is something else. It doesn't know anything. It's, good. it's as good as nothing to this script. It has no idea what's going on and it prints out nil because it's nothing. We didn't make it into a string. You see, the print statement needs a string. If we leave it without the quotation marks, the script doesn't know what faith is, which is kind of sad. But anyways, I told you that the print needs to have a string in the parentheses. And since we didn't make it into a string, it doesn't know what faith is. So it results in nil. If you don't give the print a string or something it can turn into a string, it's literally as good as nothing. Nil is nothing.